Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel. We got over 2,700 things here on Pro Wrestling Logic. Uh, old school, new school, all points in between. We continue to go in that general direction to get you where you need to be. And ultimately, at a place of uh, kind of balancing things out, it's uh, super important and, um, and uh, you know, the the work we do here, at least I think, is super important in a in a couple of ways. Anyway, as we continue to move forward, uh, this is the TNT series, which we hope to finish up next. Uh, as you can see, there's several series for your listening pleasure, and this is TNT. We kind of go through almost the end of 1985, pivotal year in the WWF. Uh, Jesse Ventura talks about. Uh, Basically not being taken as seriously as he wants to. Also talking about Lord Alfred Hayes kind of being a guy who, at least at some level, he uh, is um, kind of going round and round with. Um, and again, you know, it's it's interesting in the sense of um, kind of moving things forward. Uh, Fuji Chan is highlighted here as well. And uh, needless to say, the... Um, various newest Don Morocco film, uh, they make fun of that. Fuji Chan basically making fun of the martial arts movies that were super popular at the time. And uh, then we kind of see um, the Scott McGee coming out. Scott McGee putting over, um, but before we get to Scott McGee, actually, Hercules Hernandez comes out, uh, and uh, Freddie Blassie says that Hernandez is uh, from just about anywhere. That's why he gave him the last name from Hernandez and tells Hercules not to say where he's from. Uh, Freddie Blassie also kind of intim intimating that uh, Hercules is going to be a world champion at some point. Hercules pounding down on his adversary pretty aggressively here and ultimately getting to where he thinks he needs to be in any event. Um, so, again, you know, a really basic run here and... Uh, Hercules takes a couple of, of uh, back shots at his adversary and always tries to get at least some degree of uh, basic run. Hercules again going for uh, a, a clock over the uh, middle rope, among other things, and trying to get things under his control using the backbreaker to get the win. Hercules, um, at the time in 1985... Uh, had come off a Mid-South run. Also, Mula is out. Mula is now your two-time women's champion. Uh, she is interviewed by quite a by Vince McMahon about uh, being the two-time champion. Uh, she promised that she was going to get even with Wendy Richter. She did as the Spider Lady in the Garden, which they show, uh, which is one of the first double crosses about 12 years before the Bret Hart double cross, oddly enough. Mula also interacts with uh, fans from the crowd, and uh, they basically are making fun of how when she's going to lose, when she's going to retire. She says she can't hear. It's basically your old, uh, old talent, even an old gentleman, makes fun of Mula. And then they show the highlights from the Madison Square Garden thing, where Mula is dressed as the Spider Lady and uh, Wendy Richter takes her down, uh, Mula shoots in and uh, uh, goes for a roll-up. Uh, this is actually covered in greater detail on the um, War to Settle the Score, but needless to say, an attempted uh, backbreaker by Wendy Richter, uh, Gorilla Monsoon on the call, and uh, Mula basically goes in, hooks the tights, rolls her up with a small package, hooking the tights, and Wendy Richter kicks out. She is very aggravated by the whole thing because obviously being a shoot she doesn't know it's coming thus it's very difficult for her to at any level uh kind of handle things and as mentioned scott mcgee comes out he talks about uh doing the power lifting thing and also knowing uh lord alfred hayes since he's been around for quite a while uh, mcgee does a lot of power related stuff and uh, they show highlights of a match of enhancement nature with him in Madison Square Garden. He uses power moves, including a vertical suplex from the outside of the ring back inside, among other things, to get a victory here. And uh, McGee doesn't necessarily get the amount of attention he wants for that. Then we see Morocco um, 
as we go. Uh, they talk about the late, great uh, Quick Draw, Rick Quick Draw, who uh, Morocco is um, uh, has been in the ring with before they hype up the coming to the uh, the North Carolina area to do a Rick McGraw memorial, probably the first wrestling memorial that's that's seen. They're hyping Fuji ben Bandito. Uh, Morocco uses the uh, inverted pile driver to get the victory. We go back to um, the uh, Fuji Chan kind of thing, chambermaid deal, and Vince McMahon makes fun of it. it. You have to see it to believe it, but basically it's campy and it's kind of like doing the murder mystery sort of thing. Uh, certainly extra money put into things that could have been given to the talent here. This is campy comedy at its best. Vince McMahon, though, is outraged by all of this, and Mr. Fuji is um, believing that everyone should be happy. Mel Phillips, the ring announcer accused of impropriety with uh, uh, underage ring boys, is also featured as part of this, so there's an irony to that as well. Anyway, we will be back with more right after this.